challenge to everyone out there that I watch. Challenge to anyone that any YouTuber on here that watches it. Do an Australian accent. I'm really, <laughs> I really want to see it. Nomeo, Zach, Justin, Chris, <laughs> Cincy, give it a give a go of an Australian accent. All of you. All right. Even you, Manny. Don't think you got away with that one. Stephen Suffolk Shaver. Try doing an Australian accent. And then put put in the comments if you said that you did, all right? Because I really want to see it. Salutations, wet shavers. Since you're here for another shaving video, um, Spence tagged me in one of his last, well, his last video and asked me uh, to do my best Australian accent as well as a couple of others. It ought to be rather, uh, rather entertaining to hear everyone do their best Australian accent because Spence says we can't do it. So let's hear it, everyone. And then let's shove it right back at him, Spence. I want to hear your best. American accent, nothing, nothing East Coast, nothing New York, nothing New Jersey, nothing Southern. Do mine. Do your best at my accent. I want to hear it. All right, I'm gonna hop in the shower, and then I'm gonna get into the shave. I can't wait to try this new razor. Looking forward to this shave. I'm using the long thing, and uh, I wanted to make a quick note on this. The top is kind of hard to line up. This this piece that bends the blade here. It bends it like this, you know. It's quite easy to get that crooked because of these these wide tolerances. But I can't. I gotta get my big chubby fingers out of the way. But for less than two dollars, all you gotta do is make sure it's lined up correctly. I haven't gone on with the shave. Use an Arco. I like using this as a stick as well as cutting off a, a disc or a coin from the, the stick and, and lathering it with the brush that way. I like this stuff. Anyway, you can use it. When I try to make a shaving soap my uh, my idea to do so is to make a stick. And that's what I look like as an old man. <laughs> no surprise there. I switched the light bulb out of the one over this sink into two here. And now there's not a glare in my picture, I hope. So... I noticed that and it was it takes away from it. I don't I want it to I want it to show so Alright, that looks good. Using my Razo Rock four hundred today. Is that the right way? There you go. Razor Rock four hundred. Get that nice and ready with some hot water. Now I've only squeezed it out, I haven't shaken it. Because every time I go to lather Arco, having used the stick, it's always too thick. And it looks like it's still gonna be a little too thick. But I'll add water after I get everything. Get all of it done here. Just need to display the brush a little bit. Too much water, wow. Oh, 
Look at that ladder. It just exploded, didn't it? Awesome. Do some painting. Speaking of painting, did anyone see that new Deadpool teaser? Oh my gosh, that is hysterical. Wow. That is absolutely hysterical. Okay, uh, this is take two, so I don't know if I mentioned it. Gillette Wilkinson Sword Blade. Long Fang. Pass one. This razor was kindly sent to me by Brian Woodard, whose handwritten letter, I, I took the bottom of it off and uh, made the wall. So thank you, Brian. And so far, this razor is fine. It's comfy. And just by chance that... I had a bad blade on the other one. I am gonna try it again. Again, make sure this is, if you're gonna get this, it's fine. Make sure it's lined up correctly. Not only can the blade be crooked, but that top piece can be crooked. And it doesn't take, you know, too much of an imagination to realize that you could run into some problems with that. Last shave was Monday. It's mowing right through it. This goes to pro you, uh, prove that money doesn't always equal, you know, best quality. I'm saying rather, sorry, rather, uh, just because something is inexpensive doesn't mean it's not, not good. So, I need water on this. Wow, just a little bit on the tips. It just explodes. I'm gonna get some more Arco. I saw a good offer on eBay. Excellent. Okay. Long Feng with Gillette Wilkinson Sword Blade. This is Pass 2 Cross Grain. Very nice. It's got a good amount of little, good amount of bite. Good amount of bite. Aggressive, 
but not tuggy like that Lord that Brian sent me. That was tuggy. Again, that might have been the blade. Okay, so with this one, one side is better than the other. That's how I have it set up. I know it is. Very aggressive. And you know me, I overshave my chin. So here we go with like one of 17 times that I'm going to put soap on my uh, chin. I'm going to shave. side. Yeah, I don't have it perfectly lined up, but it's pretty good. My uh, is it my PAA slant? Whatever one this one is, is worse. The blade, it's not that it's slanted and straight, it's slanted and bent. So it's smiling at me, that's not good. I think we're at a good place here. Really push. Knock off the screaming. No excuse for that. More. I lied. A little more right there. I've only overshaved in one spot here today. It's right here. Got a little, just a little, a little seeper. No big deal. Kroger brand witch hazel. Sorry, I had to check to make sure I was recording. <laughs> Almost did a whole segment one time because I didn't double check. Glad I did. Good shave. Good shave. Under two dollars for that razor? Fantastic. For for that price? I mean it's no, you know, it's no um progress, but it's also not forty-five dollars. So dad ordered this from I think Publishers Clearinghouse. 
it came with three, and one of them was the, um, what is it, the Special Reserve Cologne. Well, I gave him that one because I have a big bottle of it already. But it came with the Brute Cologne Black and the Blue. And these, the Blue is really fresh and summery. This is really nice. Really nice for now. So this is what I'm going to go with. Let's see how it sprays. Oh, really, really small. So six, seven, was that eight? Well, that smells good. All right, and the CVS brand unscented lotion. As a balm, I get this much, and then I get water in this hand. Three shakes, two, three, that was actually four. I mix them, and I apply. All right, Spence, to the porch. Salutations, wet shavers. Welcome to my porch. How did I do, Spence? You tell us who did the best once everybody does it. So who did you tag? Zach? Steve the Suffolk Shaver? Who else did you tag? I can't remember. That was absolutely hysterical. You think nobody can do it. You can't do an Ohio accent, punk? <laughs> Have, I, go ahead. I hear the old man comments coming. I hear him coming. No. Uh, anyway, to the shave, to the review. Uh, good stuff. I'm smooth. Very nice. Going out tonight. I look good. Well, you know what I mean. The, the shave looks good. I don't look good. Very nice shave. Very comfortable. Look down and that's not going to be an issue. It's close. I didn't uh, have any problems. Bled a little bit there at first and a little bit there at the end. Over shaving. It happens. No fault of the razor. Um, so yeah, good razor. Good cologne, too. Thank you very much, Dad. If you're out and about and you see that cologne anywhere, the uh, the Brute Black, go ahead and pick a bottle of it up. You'll like it, I promise. And if you don't, keep the receipt. They'll let you return it, I'm sure. Oh, did you spray it? No, I've already owned a bottle of this, and I know that I don't like it. Just, you know. Um, uh, before I forget, uh, Grey Dog sent me a... Thank you very much, Grey Dog. This is awesome. This is going to next Thursday's shave. A new razor, I'm not gonna tell anything about it yet, other than the fact that it's a single edge. So I can't wait to try that. You sent two blades too, I can't wait to try it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But uh, yeah, this shave today was really nice. I missed a little bit right there, but that's okay. Um, I guess that about does it for the video. Um, until Saturday, hey, have some good shaves, do something fun, work on your Australian accent, and take care.